What's up guys, Travis Sherman here with another fantastic tutorial. I feel like Billy Mays when I start this off. Hey guys, Travis Sherman here with a fantastic new product. Do you want to create video? Do you want to make some edits? Do you not have Adobe Premiere Pro? Or do we have a product for you? I don't know. Let's just, let's get back to it. So today, uh, if you're watching this, it's unfortunate because you're probably using uh, or not using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and you're probably out of school. So remote learning. But does that mean video editing stops? No, it does not because we have planned ahead. So today what we're going to be going over Wii Video and let me just break it down for you. Wii Video is a very, 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 very simplistic form of editing. Uh, it has some cool features, I will say, uh, that I do like some of the features, but uh, it's just, it's super simplistic, uh, but it, it allows you to continue the editing process so work does not have to stop. So. We're going to break it down. We're going to go over all the functions. Shouldn't take that long. How simple is it, you ask? Well, let me just tell you. I learned this program in 10 minutes. And I know you guys are smarter than me, so I know you can too. Side note, are we looking at this background? Believe it or not, I actually shot this photo. Hawksbill Crag, June. Uh, we got a perfect night. Look at this. You got the Milky Way right here. Yeah, that exists, people. That's with a camera. One photo. There's no editing here. Pretty incredible. All right, back to this. Let's go to it. So you're going to go to the internet, uh, whatever it is, and you're going to go to wevideo.com. Now, when you first get here, if you're a student, uh, you will be sent a link. So your teacher is going to be sending you a link. You click on the link. It asks you to sign up. Boom, you're connected to Springdale Public Schools. Problem solved. If you are a teacher, uh, an email was sent to you. You will need to go to that email from Trent Jones. It gives you a username and a password. You will need to log in with that username and password, and then I'll show you where to go from there. But first, we are going to go ahead and click log in. It takes you to this screen, and we're just going to go ahead and enter our username. Password is uh, Sherman's the Greatest Five. I know, not enough characters. All right, let's log in. Here we go. And it takes you to this screen. For whatever reason, it says check your passwords. I'm assuming that's because Springdale Public Schools does not trust this website. It's okay though, I don't trust it either. Nah, that's all right. So you go to this page. Now, again, if you are a teacher, first time you get, you're gonna, you're gonna get the email from Trent Jones, uh, you're gonna get, then log in and you're gonna go over here to this admin page and we're going to click on members and there you can see currently that is who all has been issued licenses now keep in mind we only have 300 licenses 300 licenses currently there's four being used that's 300 licenses for students and teachers so currently we have four people uh, if you want to add somebody you're just going to click this plus member down here and you can send them a registration link so you can just copy the link, send it to an email, they click on the link, it pops up, boom, there you go. So let's go ahead and just pretend we're going to send a registration link. Now it's going to ask you, uh, do you want them to be a student or an admin or a teacher? All right. So uh, I would say most of us are either going to be, uh, if you're a teacher, just go ahead and choose admin. That'll give you all the rights uh, if you're a student. Obviously, the, the teacher will do this for you, and you'll choose student, and then you just copy this right here and send it to an email. Problem solved. The end. Okay, so that's kind of this page. Uh, if you want to, I believe you can go to your dashboard, uh, manage your own account, and then you're, you can ch change your setting. If we go back to admin, you'll notice a few of these members, uh, like Mr. Jones, does not have an actual image. That's because he has not changed it. I should change it for him. I have admin rights. But you're going to go to a managed account under your dashboard. Uh, you've got some privacy settings you can do. Uh, connected apps, that's important. We'll go over that in a little bit. 
uh, and then manage your personal data. But the big thing probably is just the, the picture. Also, we have 1,500 gigabytes that we can use collectively. Collectively. It says 4.1 gigabytes have been used out of 1,500. Now, does that mean I've used 4 gigs? Nope. If you come over here, yep, there you go. Uh, Miss Wright has used 4.05 gigs. So, we all get 1,500 gigs. So, uh, this is very important. If we're trying to edit a project, there's 300 licenses. Everybody's putting all their stuff on here. That's going to be an issue. So, I would recommend A, only editing one project at once. B, when you have completed that project, you're going to come over here to media and you're going to erase all of that media and that will allow us to have more space. Does everybody understand? Any questions? Good, great, grand, wonderful. So let's go over these tabs real fast. We have the dashboard tab. That's what you're going to start out with. Uh, you can create a, a video. If you click on recording, that is actually, uh, I believe it's going to pull up like the uh, webcam. Um, you can create a GIF, and you can also create a podcast. There's also templates, which we'll go over more in depth here in a second. Projects. Uh, I've already got a project. I'm just going to go delete it. By the way, if you want to delete a project, you just right-click, delete. Yes, I understand it's going to be deleted permanently. Ta-da. So projects, this is where everything's going to be stored. Uh, that's your projects. Now, again, I'm going to go over this more in depth here in a second, but you also have shared with me uh, that you can open those projects. So here's where all your projects are stored. Media, again, all your media is going to be stored here. Your exports, anything you finalize will be here. Here's a bunch of templates. Uh, you might find some use, like this would have been nice back in, I don't know, April, having a graduation template. Thanks. And then obviously your admin. So. We're going to go over here to projects and we're going to go ahead and click start creating. Now, we're going to title this the greatest project known to oh, almost thing, man. Okay, uh, You can enter a description if you want. Now, here's the important thing. It's going to ask you what type of project do you want to create. Do you want to create a personal one, a collaborative, or a shared? This is one of the cool features, I will admit. I kind of like this. I don't know how functional it is, but I do like the concept. So a personal project. A personal project, only you can edit, only you can see it, the end. Personal project, okay? Collaborative. So now you have a bunch of people that can see this and they can all collaborate. They can make edits, you can make edits, they can change things, you can change things. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do. So I like this feature that you can collaborate on something. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Sherman's back with a brand new video editing program. It doesn't quite have the same ring, I don't know. All right, here we go, and then we have a shared project which uh, they can see it, so you can have multiple people see it, but they're not necessarily going to be able to edit. I would encourage, if you are a student, minimum, you always choose shared, always. And I would share it with your teacher. That way, if you have any questions uh, about something, uh, the teacher can simply pull up the project, boom, they can say, oh, here's where you messed up, you need to change this. They can show you, problem solved. Uh, but if you're working on a group project, a lot of my kids, for instance, they work on uh, projects that are six weeks long uh, and they work in groups of five. This would be a, a perfect example. They could all come right here and work on it. So uh, for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and I don't know if it's going to give me a message if I click shared. Aha. So I'm going to pretend I click shared and I'm going to share it. Now, if you share it, you have your choice. You can share it with everybody in Springdale Public Schools who has a license. Remember, we went back there and it had four members. If you have 300, uh, you're sharing it with all 300. That might not be the best idea. Uh, but uh, there is also the uh, select members and then you can invite. So I'm going to select members and we're just going to share it with Mr. Jones and we're going to click next. Okay, you can always add project media from, yes, I understand. We're going to go over that. Don't jump ahead. And we're done. So you have the option here. If you click finish, it's just going to take you back out to the, the dashboard. I don't know why. 
uh, but we're going to go ahead and create video. That would be the most logical step. Now, automatically right off the bat, it is going to ask you to uh, either create a blank edit right here, or you can do a bunch of different um, you know, templates. Again, why didn't they show us this back in April when I was doing the graduation video? Oh, look at this one, a newscast. Okay, all right, I see you. A book report six through... This is great. All right, here we go. Let's go back. We're not using templates. What are we? And we're going to click blank edit and start editing. Shazam! Now we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, again, very simplistic. Uh, I would encourage you, if you have not watched my tutorials on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro 101, there's five of them. Um, I would watch those first because if you know how to operate Adobe Premiere Pro, this you will learn in 10 minutes, I'm telling you. So I would encourage you to know that first and be pretty familiar because this is a very, 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 very simplistic version of it. So here we go. Over here is your program slash preview window. That's right. It's the same window and I'll show you why. Here's everything that we would call our project window in Adobe Premiere Pro project window and then of course your timeline uh, down here you have video track 2 video track 1 audio 1 i don't know if it's got another audio 2 by default it does not so uh, you can create audio tracks and video tracks they claim you can create as many as you want <laughs> prove it am i right normally it's like 16 tracks and then everything starts to slow down uh, but we'll see Okay, so you have uh, a bunch of different uh, tabs and stuff that we're going to go over. Right here, stock media. This is media that they provide to you. So again, if you double click on it, it pulls up in your preview window. It's actually pretty cool that you have this stock footage available to you. Um, what's this one? Ooh, okay, I see you. What? Let's looking up at Red Rock. All right, get out of here. Get out of town. Oh, who's this? What are you doing, Josh? Drinking some water by a beautiful lake? Josh, I'm not going to take your hand. You get the idea. A bunch of different stock footage, okay? My media, this will be all of your media and where it's uh, shared from. Now keep in mind, one of the cool features is that you can connect drives. Ooh. I don't know how functional that is. Keep in mind, you can connect Google Drives, you can connect Vimeo accounts, you can connect YouTube accounts, so everybody can share that stuff. If you are doing a collaborative edit, you must share your stuff. You have to, right? If person one, if there's five people and person one shot all the footage, puts it on their computer, they will not, the other four people will not be able to actually access your footage. So make sure you have like a Google Drive and you share everything. And I'll show you how to connect that in a second. Text. We have a bunch of different stock text effects. These are motion effects. Uh, you have a tab over here. They're static. They're seasonal. Oh, look. Graduation. How cool is that? and call outs, these kind of just like point and draw attention to specific areas. So again, I like these, these presets, these templates of stock, that's pretty neat. Audio, they have a bunch of different audio tracks that you can sort through. Um, they have sound effects that are already preloaded. What, they even have a hospital sound effect? All right, that might be useful right about now. And then premium music, a bunch of different stuff you can go through there. Transitions. Uh, you guys should be pretty familiar. Uh, we have the cross zoom. We have cross fades, cross blurs. There's a bunch of them that you can go through. Typically, we don't use transitions very often. We put it at the very beginning and maybe the very end. So we won't use them very often. Backgrounds. This is specifically for uh, if you're doing green screen work. So you can drop this and this will be the background that they're standing in front of. Uh, what is solid? Oh, there's just solid colors. Overlay. Wow, look at that. Bang! A heart. So these will overlay. You can throw these on top of videos. 
and frames. You got you have frames that you can throw on top of footage. So you got a bunch of different stuff. Let's go back to my media. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click add. So this will be our first step. Now, you can, as I said, connect a Google Drive. So if you connect it, Google Drive, it's going to ask you where do you want to connect it from. You log in, so I'll just go ahead and log into mine. Log in. It wants access to Google Drive and Shazam, there you go. You have been connected. I've got a bunch of different footage in here. So you can connect Google Drive. So my encouragement would be, if you have a collaborative project, go ahead, one person, create a Google Drive, put all the footage on that Google Drive, connect the drive, and now everyone has access to it. I think you'll run into problems if only one person has the footage on their computer. So make sure you go ahead and do that. But for now, you can also click Browse to Select. I've created a folder on my desktop titled Wii Video, and there are a bunch of different shots. Let's go ahead and import them, and there you go. There they are. So again, uh, we have uh, a bunch of different shots. These guys are unboxing some stuff. These first three, they're unboxing. And down here uh, is a completed project that I went ahead and imported just for the heck of it, because why not? You can also click import right here and it does the same thing. So that's a neat function. Now, normally uh, what you can do is if you click on this, it would pull up in your, your uh, preview window. You can set your endpoint and out points. You can no longer do that. Ouch. I know. That's unfortunate. So uh, what are we going to do? Well, you have to click on it. It pulls up in your program window now. Uh, shown in low res res resolution for faster preview. This is important, especially if you're working off of a Google Drive. You'll want to make sure that it's a re low resolution. Otherwise, internet speeds are going to be, whoa, they're going to be a challenge. So, we've got the first shot. You can go ahead and kind of skim through this. Uh, uh, there it is, right? You can also hit the space bar. Space bar stops it. Now, if I'm clicking I, I is doing nothing on my computer right now. So that's unfortunate. I hate that aspect. But what we do have are input markers right here and output markers right here. So I could drag to a spot that I want to start the shot. Maybe it's like right here. I like his face. He's really struggling to open this. And now we can drag right here that's where I want the shot to start and then let's see where do I want it to end I want it to end right after he's like yep I just cut that I'm awesome so we're going to drag our out point to right around I don't know here and there you go now you have your in and out points and you can drag it down to your timeline no you can't yeah you can't there you go video one nope it's not gonna let you you have to actually drag it from your uh, your project window so drag it down and there you go if you press play ta-da if you want to zoom in you certainly can there's your zoom in so we can zoom in right here if you want to reposition your windows you would think that there would be a, an arrow right here that allows you to drag up no no such thing why because that would make logical sense instead you have the arrow if you hover between the project window and the program window if you slide left or right, that is how you resize things to see. Crazy, I know, whatever. All right, so we've run into a problem here. What's that problem? Well, sometimes we shoot multiple shots within a clip. I'm using my air quotes, right? So let's say I want to come back to this shot and I want to use a different clip. Let's see if I, want to, if I start it here, does this change the input on the timeline? And the answer is, no, it does not. That's a good thing. So uh, you are able to select the shot again and reposition your in and out points and then go ahead. You have to drag it down from the project window. So make sure that you guys do that. So there's your first shot. Um, you can add another uh, video layer if you wanted to. So you can just write, mm, there we go. 
lock. Oh, here we go. Press the plus button. Sorry, guys. Uh, so if you come over here and you press the plus button, you can now add another video or audio track. You can also title them. Um, so this, for instance, could be I don't know, graphics. And there you go. It's positioned right here. So uh, you have those options. I believe this is an undo. Yes, it is. So if I undo, we uh, can undo the last action, redo. Make sure snapping is on uh, at all times. That's your snapping right there. Okay. So next, uh, let's add just one more shot just for the heck of it. I'm going to, there we go. Let's add one more shot. So let's get over here. Let's slide this. Uh, I don't know. What's a pretty looking shot? Oh, perfect. You're being arrested. And we're going to set our endpoint right there. Out point right around. Right after this. Right before the interview. And we'll drag that down and it will snap to your shot again. And there you go. So now if we slide over here, here's what we have. He's opening it. Shazam! Arrested. And nails. Perfect. That looks like a clean edit to me. Now, what else do we want to do? Well, what else can we possibly do? Let's go over to audio. And we are going to select some free music. They've got a bunch of different stuff. So again, you can uh, click on it. Uh, and you can uh, preview it if you want to. Um, I'm just going to trust this. And we're going to drag it down into our audio. There you go. Let's resize this so I can see the full track. Now you can also still trim shots by dragging them in and out. So I'm going to trim it down just so we don't have a long timeline. Let's resize it again. There you go. Let's listen to this awesome edit that we have now done. If that's not inspiring, I, I literally don't know what is. But you can add uh, a bunch of different uh, music tracks and sound effects. You can layer those as many as you want. Again, they claim you can have unlimited audio and video. Prove it. Transitions. Again, we don't use a whole lot of them, but you can drag this down and put it on top of the video. So now when you play it, fades in. And maybe we want to blur fade it out. So we'll just drag it onto the video and Blur fade. Whoa! Looks pretty sweet, right? Okay, so you have that. Um, and then we were not going over backgrounds, but I will add a text effect. So I'll click on the text. And I want some type of in season. And because I've been talking about it so much, that's right. I'm going with a graduation one. So we're going to drag this on top, right? And if I play it, There you go. Pretty simple, right? So uh, how do we edit this? We obviously don't want it to say happy graduation class of 2020. So how do we edit this? Well, real simple. You're going to double click on it. It pulls up your, uh, your what we would call effect controls. You can change the color. I like the color. What color can we change it to? How about oh, red? All right. Happy graduation. Now we can change the text by clicking on it. What should we say? Sherman's, oh, we got we to gotta have the apostrophe for sure. Sherman's incredible video. And maybe right here, seriously, dot, dot, dot. Okay, there you go. And we're going to save changes. And now you'll have that ready to rock. <laughs> how that's the effects I would put in the sound effects okay you can also uh, click on these and it would pull up some effects that you can put on top uh, like I don't know sepia tone this will be on top of the actual graphic though so keep that in mind right so I don't really like that so we're gonna click the undo arrow and ta-da Sherman's incredible video seriously okay all right 
So let's go over some of the video effect options. So if I click on, double click on any of the videos in the timeline, it will pull up my effect controls, which will allow me to rotate, flip it, fit it to video or fit it to the window. Uh, we can also scale it so you know you can make it smaller. You can then drag it around, okay? I personally don't wanna do that, so we're gonna undo and undo the positioning. Uh, we can also come over here to audio and we can now adjust the level of audio. We can take it down to you know half, whatever, okay? We can fade in and out if we wanted to, but we've already got a fade on there. Animation, all right, so this, let me cancel all changes. So let's go to the very beginning of the, of the video. Okay, we'll double click on it. This is more keyframing, so this would be take place of your keyframing. So we're at the very beginning of the video, and I want it to be pretty small. Okay, and I want it to be over here. Ta-da! Maybe we'll put it in, oh. Yeah, that's an idea. I'll put it right there. And then we're going to click on second or the end. And we want it to be full screen. So I'm just going to leave it the same. So save changes. Now, when we play the video, it will automatically keyframe for you. Okay. You might not use that, but that option to animate is there. So double click on it again. Over here, we have the ability to do minor color correction. So you can change the brightness. This would be the overall exposure. So, I don't know, something like that. I always bump my contrast up as much as we can. Saturation, uh, I'm going to take it up to about, I don't know, that's too much. Maybe three or four. Uh, hue will shift the entire color spectrum, you see. Uh, so we're going to reset that. Temperature, this will shift uh, just the color temperature. So it's a little orange, we can shift it down to more blue. And tint is going to uh, tint it different colors. And again, we will undo that. Color keying, this, will, this is for green screen. So if you're trying to do green screen, you would just click on the eyedropper and select the green screen. It will then uh, do that for you. And speed, this will allow you to speed up any type of video, uh, but we're not going to do that. So there you go. So now we have a beautiful, incredible, seriously incredible video. All right. What else can we do? We've gone over everything else. Uh, we're going to talk about how to finalize your video. So we're going to go over here to finish now. What do you want to title it as? Well, uh, incredible video. Oh my gosh, incredible video, and click set. All right, so you have a couple different options. Number one, uh, you can create podcasts on uh, Wii Video. So if you click just audio only, now it's a podcast. So if you wanted to create podcasts, those that is a possibility. You can also choose to export an SD or HD. I would never recommend uh, exporting an SD. I don't know why you would. So minimum, I would encourage at least 1280 by 720. That's our only option. So uh, you can also choose your custom thumbnails if you want. I'm going to choose that one. Now, destination. Here we go. If you click on this one, it's just going to download it to uh, your, your uh, project, your exports over here. So if you click on that one, it will export it to your exports, which you can then download. If you click this one, it's going to export it to Google Drive. So we're going to just click on that one and click export. It's being queued. Okay. Let's see how long it takes. I'm interested. Ready in 25 seconds. Okay. That's not bad for a three second video. 20 seconds. There's one other thing I wanted to show you that was a pretty neat feature. Uh, especially for people that are doing broadcasts that I would encourage you to utilize. So I will go over that as well. But let's just take a look at this. Ta-da! All right, it's done. Seriously. It's done. Go. Go. You're done already. Come on. 
Aren't you done yet? Let's see if it's in the exports. There it is. All right, so you can now uh, take a look at it. Which it'll be ready in six seconds, apparently. Ta-da. Okay. You have the option to download it right here. So you can download it to your computer. Um, so there you go. There's your options. Play it. I mean, that is an incredible edit right there. You have the option to delete it as well, download it. Um, you can add it to a gallery, change it to your privacy settings. Uh, you can change the thumbnail, edit the name, um, put it on Google Classroom if you needed to. Uh, so there's a bunch of different options, but it will be stored here in your exports. And again, if you want to download it to your computer, you certainly can. Uh, you'll just need to go in and do that. Now, let's go back to projects and let's open up the, the incredible video project. Okay, there we are. Now, one thing I did forget to uh, talk about is your record. So, if you open up the record, you now have the ability to choose the webcam. So you can uh, click next and it'll pull up your webcam and you, it will record your webcam should you need to. You can choose screen. So it will record the entire screen should you wanna do that. And then uh, if you choose screen and webcam, I believe it puts the webcam in the top right and then it will record your screen as well. So that is a neat feature, especially if you're ever trying to do tutorials. Now, another really cool one is narrate. So if you click on narrate, it's going to allow you to record voiceovers. So you can either, it'll either pick up the mic from your laptop or computer, Chromebook, whatever, or you can plug in a mic and record voiceovers. This is super, super handy uh, when you're doing any type of broadcast piece. Now you no longer need to have a mic. Uh, you can use that instead. You can use the, the laptop to do any type of voiceover work. So that's a great asset to you. Let's go back to our dashboard and there you see there's a recent edit. Uh, here are our projects. Uh, all the media, remember all the media is going to be stored there. So if we go into admin and members, you'll now see that I have 784 megabytes of data being used. So keep that in mind. When you're done with your projects, you need to go to your media and you need to delete the media. Ah, so this is saying two files are currently being used in a project. It doesn't want to delete it. So I'll just go ahead and delete the project. Projects, delete. Yes, permanently delete it and media been deleted, exports, I'll leave it there for right now. Uh, and there you go. So that's kind of an overview of uh, Wii Video. I hope you learned a little bit, very simplistic. It does have some cool features, especially uh, if they're younger kids that are just trying to get uh, into this. There's some templates and stuff that they can utilize. But the important thing is it will allow you to continue editing uh, using the Chromebooks so work does not have to stop even if you're doing remote learning. I hope you learned something. I hope you found it valuable. Uh, if you didn't, well, why are you still watching? Don't have to be mean about it. Anyway, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.